Linked Genes by Brianna Colosi. Linked genes are genes that are physically close to one another on a chromosome that will likely be inherited together, as long as the centimorgan doesn't exceed 50. This is Lily. She is a three-year-old Bibble who we want to breed to get more Bibbles. Here we have Lily's genetic map. A genetic map is a diagram of the linked genes and how close together they are on the chromosome, which is measured in centimorgans. The linked genes are big H for horns and little h for no horns, big R for spots and little r for no spots, and big G for green coat and little g for blue coat color. But how did we get Lily's genetic map? Here are Lily's parents. Her mom is a homozygous blue-coated spotted horned bibble while her dad is a homozygous, green-coated, unspotted, unhorned bibble. Since they're both homozygous, you only get one gamete type for each allele, having you end up with Lily's genotype. Now we're going to breed Lily, and we want to see what gametes she would produce in a mating. For the first gamete, we see having big H, big G and little r. So that means the crossover had to happen in the first section of the gene so we can have an ending result of H, G, R. So again the crossover happened here in order for it to go like that. The rest of the gametes follow below. Now that we know the gamete type, let's say we want to predict the probability that we get the genotype HGR or horned, green, and spotted. That is a double crossover, and the formula for a double crossover is R1 times R2 times the coefficient of coincidence, or C, so that would be 0 0.18 times 0 0.06 times 0 0.76 which equals 0 0.008208. But that is for a double crossover only. So in order to get the specific gamete cross, we have to multiply it by one half, which equals 0 0.004104. Now we want to find the probability of a no horned blue spotted bibble. Since this is a single crossover in region 1, in order to find this value, we take our region 1 recombination frequency and subtract the double crossover frequency. So we have 0 0.18 minus 0 0.008208, which equals 0 0.171792. Again, that was for the single crossover one in only. So in order for the specific gamete type, we have to multiply it by one half, in which we get 0 